We shall start off as we always do with the jar of names. Right, so give it a mix around. Okay, so hello to everyone, including but not excluded to 40k Warrior Man. Right, and here we are with another try something video. We are creating yet again something else. And we're here today to try and beat boredom and to try and do things with our lives. So since I made the video background where I put up the shelves and everything and sorted it all out, I had a desk which I didn't know what to do with. I was going to chuck it and then I thought, no, I will cut it up and I will make something else with it. So I decided I needed a unit to where I could store things and put my consoles, like PS2 and PS3 and all that sort of stuff. So that is what this is going to be about. I've got my big mug of tea ready with me. It's going to stay with me until I make this. So let's create something. Which I've just told you is a unit. Wooden unit or console unit. Whichever you want to call it. Right. So let's start off with what you're going to need. Some wood. A saw. A screwdriver. Some sandpaper. A drill. A spirit level. A tape measure. A pencil. And some screws. Step one. Mark out where you need to cut. So the clip you are watching is actually a mistake. I don't, I'm not sure if this is a mistake, but there is a mistake in this video as well where it was too short because I failed to realise it was a mistake. So here's what there's always. So there's a little tip that I've always been told where it's mark twice, cut once, and it basically means make sure you got it right before before you start cutting and make things unchangeable or have to start again. I didn't do it this time. When I did the mistake, I didn't do that. And obviously that's where I got the mistake where it was wrong. Uh, so I did start checking after that, and then I think I think most of it was all right. Although there is some plans later where, my from my original plans, which you saw at the beginning of the video, uh, I did have to change them because uh, things went wrong. It was my cutting was a bit skewiff and wonky, so I had to sort of shorten it and make it less uh, longer and shorter. And obviously pieces of wood I had weren't big enough, so I had to sort of shorten down some of the shelf lengths. So I had to sort of deviate from my original plan but I did manage to make some, pretty much something that I did want at the end obviously I'm recording this after this voice so that's why I know all this but yeah it did work out in the end but well or did it maybe I should leave it a surprise did this work is this video a big fake video because I didn't actually make it I guess we'll find out in a few steps time eight steps I think step two cut the wood yeah this is what took most of my time uh, on and off, I did it like one, one, once a week, uh, cutting all the pieces. I think it took me about four weeks to do, so f about four days, although sometimes I did a little bit of here and there. And when I say four days, I mean like two hours each, so it, it took a while. It did indeed, but I managed to get it done. I tried to go outside where it was sort of light as well, like I heard something about video things where they use, something called, it's called the golden hour, where it's one hour before sunlight, uh, sunlight? sunrise and one hour before sunset that's when i tried to record so the first few clips of this video or some of the you can obviously tell when i'm on the white table that is where i started to and that's when i did that just so if you, just so you can tell the lighting differences i'm using a coping saw as well you might be able to see on some of the clips as well uh the coping saw is not used for that it's used for more curves and straight ledges edges ledges <laughs> edges uh, obviously, the other saw is what you should have, I should have used, but I, I learnt as I went on, and I did start to use the other one a lot more. Uh, but I do think the coping saw was a bit blunt, so it didn't really work extremely well. What? I know some of this stuff. I did woodwork in school. GCSE level, I think. And one day I got a little bit adventurous, so I decided to do saw cam, where I taped my camera to the saw, so you get like a first-person view of the saw. Why not? I didn't see other reason why I shouldn't. And it was fun and very amusing. Step three, sand the edges of the wood. So this is not what you should be doing. Like what you should be doing is using files. Like it's called a bastard file. It's that's what it's called. It's like a big sort of very, very um, like the gaps of the file. What are they called? Like, you know, the little lines on the, on the file. They're very quite spaced apart. So it's quite a good sort of gets off the initial roughness, but obviously it still leaves it quite rough. That's what you should use. And then there's another file you use, which is finer. You use that. And then you use the sandpaper, like the thick sandpaper, and then the, you know, the lesser sa thick sandpaper. Of course, I didn't have any of that. I only had the sandpaper, so I used the sandpaper. So I, some of the edges are still a little bit, what's the word, rough. But I've got away all of these sharp bits, which would give me splinters. So it's good enough for me at the moment. But it could be better. It could have been better. But a lack of tools, right tool for the job, and I did not have the right tool. But it worked. Step four: make the holes for the screws and the drilling. Well, it should be drilling and the screws, I suppose, actually. 
So now I'm trying to, what I was trying to do was I was trying to sort out where to put the screws because the screws are going to go through some pieces of wood into other pieces of wood to hold it all together. Some things, are, some bits of screws are going to stick out so I can put the shelves on it. Uh, and obviously I only had the, she the screws from what I had when I dismantled the table. So I didn't have some, I didn't have these ones where it was like a, it's like a metal dowel where it sticks in, it sort of doesn't screw in, it just plugs in and socks, sockets itself in. So I only had four of them. So I could only use them on one shelf, and I've got two shelves. So I've decided to use that for the top piece, which uh, you'll see later on, which slots onto the top because it would have been painful to put some screws up through the top, going up of the actual main base bit, up into the top bit, which is like the top shelfy thing, because that would have been too close to the wall, so it wouldn't have it would have been painful. So I decided to obviously make it my life easier and use the metal dowels. Although it wasn't actually easier because trying to find the right drill bit for the actual metal dowel holes were very hard to find. It took me a while. I was looking for about half an hour, but I managed to find one and it fit and I was like, yes! Step four, I think, might be step four. Step four, start to screw the pieces together. Is this actually the last step? Uh, they are actually all to fit together. Like, as you can probably see me, the process of like a, not time lapse, but different stages of me putting it all together. Like, I started off with the top bit, which you might have seen the video. You might have seen the clip when I was showing off because I was proud of that. That was good. That was the best bit about it, the top bit, because it was quite small and easy to do. Uh, but then I started to put the main base bit together when I went inside when it got dark, um, where they all, you know, the two slide bits got in together, which was the holes didn't match up. But obviously, they, some of them did, so I did, I did manage to do it a little bit. Uh, so that got together. And I did notice it was a bit wonky. Again, this is not perfect. This is just man made. Yeah, man made? Human made. Me, homemade. Home made. So it was a little bit wonky, which was bad. But uh, it's okay. It's fine right now. And then I fit the top on top, which is. Oh, it was alright until um, one of the screws. I think when I drilled, uh, the, the hole was a bit slanted. So the screw came straight down and out to the side and pushed some of the front chipping off so it's chipped which looked bad so i managed to take that screw out so now there's only three screws holding the top piece in place the chipping bit fell off so you could see the chip wood behind it uh but i just stuck that bit back on with a bit of blue tack so now it's just a bit of a, a bit of a line uh what was after that and then the fun part was putting the top bit on top and then of course the final bit was to do the shelves which they did fit the bottom one of them fits i think the bottom one fits very well but the top one's a little bit short and they're a bit wonky as well. The screws didn't quite go into the same sort of spot, so it's a little bit wonky. But you, you can only really tell on the top shelf, and that is annoying actually because it's quite. I knocked it quite a few times and it fell off and made a bang. And that is my little wooden unit done. My, li my little wooden unit. Full home to my consoles and stuff. You can see I've started to put some things on it as well. Like the things I, the things I initially planned to put on it were the two consoles, which is the PS3, 33. Yes, that's right. I got it right the first time. PS3 and Xbox 360. I wanted to put on there. And obviously the two slots below and above are for the PS4, which I'm going to put on one of the two, and an Xbox One, which I'm going to get hopefully later. Don't know when, but later is going to go either on the top or the bottom. But that is pretty good. And like I said, I've got the uh, other things as well on top, such as the. My, my messy papers bit, which I need to sort out, but that I needed to do this, what's it called, this unit, before I started sorting my room out, but that's going to get sorted too, and that's where they're going to live, just in that little cubby hole there. And I've also got my pot, pencil pot, full of my pencils, which I need to sort out as well. But that is my unit done. If you've made a unit, which is similar, if you've been a bit, uh, done some carpentry, a bit of woodwork, tell me in the comments below how it went for you. If you've got pictures, that'd be great. I would love to see some pictures. But this is just my guide of how I've done my one. But yeah, I'm pretty pr proud of it. It's a little bit messy, but not bad for a first time. Not bad for a first timer with the old woodwork. But I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, so yeah, so thanks for watching. That's just one way to try and beat boredom and to try to do something different with our lives. Try to say, we've done, I've done a bit of woodwork. I built a unit. Anyway, I'm going to finish my cup of tea now. And I shall see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye.